in his role as uh, commander on the ground, not surprisingly, he wants to retain as much flexibility as possible in terms of accomplishing that goal. Uh, and what I emphasized to him was, you know, if I, was, if I were in his shoes, I'd probably feel the same way. Uh, but my job uh, as a candidate for president and a potential commander in chief extends beyond Iraq. All right, with us now, we've got MSNBC analyst and retired general Wesley Clark. General, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Joe. You. Good to be um, here. I'm a little confused by that statement. He said that of, of General Petraeus, hey, if I were in your position, I would be saying the same thing. It sort of made General Petraeus sound more like a lobbyist than a commander in the field who's really turned things around in Iraq. Explain what Barack Obama was getting well, at Well, I think there. what he was saying was exactly right. If you're the commander-in-chief, you've got respon worldwide responsibilities, and so you've got to balance off the demands from one theater with the demands for another. And so the commander on the ground says, here's the risk. I want to minimize the risk by keeping more forces and keeping my timetable flexible. And the commander-in-chief says, I understand your concerns, but the risk, I'll take the risk because I've got to balance it off with demands from another theater. That's perfectly legitimate. That's exactly the way it's supposed to work, and I think Barack Obama had it just right.